Hello everybody and welcome to the first part of Let's Play Stardew Valley! So today I'm here to start a brand new series on this game. It has been a while, I miss it so much and I just, I'm so excited to get started. I'm a little bit sick, but hopefully it's not gonna be too harmful for this video. I just feel like sneezing and I can't sneeze and you know that feeling when you want to sneeze and you can't? It's it's the worst feeling ever. But, but look at the Junimos, look at them. <laughs> they are giving me strength. I will do this. <laughs> so Stardew Valley, a new game, a new series. Let's start this and create a new game. Oh wait, before we do... Knock knock, is anyone there? Yes, it is. I think these are all the secrets that we have. I think so. Am, am I right? Am I wrong? I think it is. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Okay, now we can start. <laughs> so for my little character, I'm gonna go with the name. Claudia. My real name is Claudia for those who don't know me. Uh, for my farm name, I'm gonna go with the same thing that I went before, which is... Make a louder farm! Get it? Love you, louder. Get it? Buns. <laughs> my favorite thing is gonna be... Olives. Very much likely, I love olives. <laughs> I am a female, thank you very much. My animal preference is gonna be cats, even though I love dogs too. I have both as pets. But the thing is that people don't really retexture dogs to look like stray dogs. So I couldn't find a dog that looks like my dog. And I have a cat that looks like my cat, so I'm gonna go with the cat. I'm sorry, Fintage, I still love you. <laughs> I still love you a lot. But I'm gonna go with my French cat, Poirot. When it comes to my skin color, I need the palest thing you have, sweetie, because I am very pale. Which is funny. The other day I was going home from classes and I was at the bus and it was nighttime so I could see the reflection on the windows and I saw my reflection and I got so scared because I thought I was a ghost. <laughs> I am so pale that my reflection was so white compared to everybody else <laughs> and it terrified me. And a lot of people make comments about my skin, even people that I don't know. I had people that I don't know from anywhere just they see me walking on streets and they say you're really pale, you need to go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that I can't get tan, no matter how hard I try, I only get freckles, so it's kind of like a curse. It's my curse, I can't get tan, so yeah, I only get freckles, and that's my sad tale. When it comes to my hair, um, that's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, I have some red hair, which I dyed. Um... It might be like this, yeah, I, I think I can go with this, or maybe something like this, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I can go with this. For the shirt, I want some cute farmer overalls because they are adorable, and I think I have, I know which ones I want, I think I know, even though this jacket is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute too, can I just say this? Oh, it's so adorable. Should I? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want it. It's so cute, though. It's so adorable. Like, I could give myself some brown pants to go with suspenders. He would be so adorable. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. No. Uh... <laughs> I can always give myself a make. I can. I can give myself a makeover later on. I want the overalls. <laughs> Gonna go with the overalls for now. I'm gonna be a happy chump. Um, oh, here they are. These are the ones that I want. Now, I need them to be this color right here so that it matches and it looks like overalls. And I think I'm gonna give myself a scarf because they look really cute and I, I rarely use them. So I have like a little bandana on my neck and I look adorable. Don't even get me started on that. When it comes to my farm layout, I think I'm gonna go with the same one that I went before, which is the hilltop farm. It's still the only farm that I haven't explored much out of all of these. So the hilltop farm, rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. So even though the mineral deposit is not a huge deal, I do like the design of this farm and 
I was really excited to discover it in my last play and I wasn't able to do so, so I'm gonna give it a go again and see how this goes. And now, without much further ado, let's begin! And we're gonna start this game with a little intro sequence with our grandpa and for my very special granddaughter. Yes, go on, grandpa. You can do it. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh. <laughs> no, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. So it's 20 years later now and uh, I don't think grandpa is with us anymore. <laughs> it's not looking very bright, but we are working at Joja. Join us, thrive, and yeah. Life started with Joja and there we are. We don't seem to be very happy to be honest. So maybe it is about time that we go ahead and open up our grandpa's letter. Yeah, let's go do this. Dear Laudia, if you're reading this, you might be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I didn't close the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Make a Lauda Farm, is located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lou is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I will, Grandpa. No worries. So now we are going to Stardew Valley, which, even though it's considered a tiny village, it's much bigger than the village I live in, so... <laughs> they have a beach, they have buzz, like, they are living well. <laughs> and... I think we're here. Yes! Hello, you must be Laudia. Hello, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. May Alois send me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. That's nice of him. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Okay, Robin. I like her hair so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the house. This is Make It Louder Farm. Yes. <laughs> I'm way too excited for this. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good salt underneath the mess. With a little vacation, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Maybe like in a year or so. Let's not rush things, Robin. <laughs> and here we are, your new home. Okay. And there's Mayor Lewis. Ah, oh, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone has been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. I know it is. For the village, it's always a big deal when someone new moves in. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, it is nice. I chose the house myself, so... <laughs> I quite like it. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more apt, though. Robin! Don't you dare say that! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Ladia. She's just trying to make you satisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want the house upgrade, but I don't have any money. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you have to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okay. Robin, stop pouting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you, Louis. And thank you, Robbie. Did I just say Robbie? <laughs> so, it's our first day in the farm. Let's go explore the town a bit. So, this is our tiny little house. It doesn't have much. It has a bed and a little fireplace that we can light up. We have a TV, which we can watch TV. Uh, duh. <laughs> So we have here the weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. Now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Fantastic. 
and fortune teller ah oh, yes i can hear spirits whispering something to me the spirits feel neutral today the day is in your hands nice and living off the land welcome to living off the land we're right back again with another tip for y'all now listen up this one's for all you greenhorns out there shop wood and search for wild footage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest that's actually what we might do because our farm is quite a mess right now but we do have a little gift here so let's go see we got some partnership seeds you receive 15 parts and seeds here's a little something to get you started mayor lewis thank you lewis and over here on our journal we have a few things to do so first things first getting started if you want to become a farmer you have to start with the basics use your hoe to tilt soil then use a seed packet on till soil to sow a crop water every day until the crop is ready for harvest so we need to cultivate and harvest a partnership and the other thing, introductions, it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet a new farmer. So 2 out of 28 people greeted, that's a lot of people. We're gonna work on this for sure. So now we're gonna go out and let's go see what we can do here. We have a lot to work with. Uh, let me show you guys in a much closer detail what our farm looks like. Uh, we have a lot to work with over here, as you can see. The farm is quite big. We don't have as much space as we would have with uh, another farm layout, like the normal one, but we can work with this. And I'm excited to see what I can do with this layout because I still haven't explored it. But as you can see, this is what we have on this side. We have here a little cave, which I, I adore it. It's so adorable. Right now it's empty, but soon enough we'll get something to put inside there. And... Yeah, we have something to go downstairs. We can't go down here, but this is our mineral deposit. Ooh, we're probably not gonna go there to die because we have so much to do already on the farm. We need to plant. And I don't know if you see this bar at the bottom, but this is our energy. And the more things we do, the lower our energy is gonna get. And if we get too tired, we might pass out and then we're gonna be in deep trouble, people. So we need to be careful, but... This is our farm in a nutshell. You know what, I, I think I think we can do this. It actually reminds me of my farm that I have right in front of my door, so I feel at home. My dog is barking, <laughs> he wants some attention. Uh, but let's get started with our farm and see what we can do here. I think I'm gonna plant on this side over here because we can't really take these tree trunks down, so I can't really plant here. My axe isn't strong enough to break this. So I'm gonna try to clean up this area over here on this side. And we also need to collect wood, so I think this is a good thing to do. And as you can see, our energy is going down at the bottom, over there in the bar, if you can see. Yeah, we need to be careful with this. But this is gonna be fun. At least I speak for myself. <laughs> I'm excited to start fresh. I already have a few ideas of what I want to do here. Um, there's actually a website called the um, Started Valley Planner, which we can plan our farm. I started planning it, but I, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, but I have a few ideas of what I want to do. So th that's a good sign. Uh, I also know who I'm going to pursue in this series. So, so that's going to be exciting. And I don't know, I'm going to take things very chill in this series i'm not gonna be in a rush to complete things or to get money i'm just gonna wing it and see where it takes me um i don't know how long this series is gonna be either way so we're just gonna try to make this a joyful experience and not really care about getting somewhere or achieving something we're just gonna wing it i have anxiety for those who may not know so playing this game always brings me so much joy so I wanna, I wanna have fun while playing this. I wanna feel relaxed and just chill for a little bit, for a while. So let's start here a little field to plant our parsnips. Uh, let's do, let's put them all together. I'm gonna reorganize the farm as we get the resources to make it all beautiful. But right now we don't have anything to really make our farm beautiful, so. I'm not really gonna care about the appearances. Our farm is a mess, but it's my mess and it's a beautiful mess. <laughs> and I do have a little wild seed, so I might plant it just to see what we get. Gonna plant it over here. So there you go. Hope you grow well. 
And now, uh, do I have enough wood? I do. I'm gonna go ahead and make a chest and I'm gonna put it inside the house because people insist on me to put my chest inside the house. I usually always leave it outside. But this time, you win. I will put chests inside. Hope you're happy. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna put the stuff that I don't need right now over here. So I'm only gonna take my hoe with me. I'm gonna dye this chest yellow since we can. And let's go out. So we're going for this way. We can actually see the map over here. Yes. Uh, look at our farm. It's very empty right now. We have a lot to explore in this town. As you can see, people say it's a small town, but this is pretty big. Over here, we have the bus stop. We have here uh, Robin's house, I believe. It's over here. Uh, we have caves. Uh, we have some shops. A lot of commercial stuff over here in the town center. We have a beach. Like, that is freaking awesome. We have woods, of course, and... Yeah, let me see if I can show you guys through all of this beauty. So if you go over here to this side, we are taken to the bus stop. And let me go ahead and make this in the normal resolution again. There we go. Oh, we have a few things already. So these are some... What do you call these? <laughs> Foraging items? There we go. Uh, we can collect these and we can sell them or we can give them as gifts to other people. There are a lot of people that actually really like these, so I'm gonna hold on to these and see what I can do with them. Uh, here we have some more, which we can actually dig up and find some rare goodies. So this time we actually found the last book and the library's collection has expanded. So we can find books, we can find artifacts, all of these are really cool things to find. Oh wow. <laughs> Another book! Awesome. Uh, let me go get this sandalion. Let's go heading to the town. So I think if I go down here, we're gonna have someone. Yes. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm RV local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. I hope so too. I'm just starting out. And I have to, a lot to do, let me just tell you that. He works over here at the clinic, which right now is empty. But this is where we can find RV. Um, over here, we have a calendar so we can see people's birthdays and we can see how many days in the month we have. That is extremely important for when we're going to be planting our crops. Uh, the first birthday we have is Mayor Lewis' birthday, so we need to watch out for that and see what we can give him as a gift, because giving gifts to people on birthdays is so rewarding. Uh, we do have a relationship tab, so yeah, we, we need to look out for these. Look at all the people we have to meet. Over here we have the Pierre's General Store, which we have a few people here. Hello. So this is Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You have picked a good time to move here. It's spring is lovely. Well, a lot of allergies though, <laughs> but I bet it's lovely. Hello, you must be allowed to get the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs general store here and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's a pale one with purple hair. I relate so much to that. <laughs> I'm also pale. What are you, Abigail? Let's meet. <laughs> Abby, she's not here. Well, I'm sure we'll meet her. Uh, we can't go inside people's bedrooms, we need to have a good enough relationship with them before we can go inside their rooms, which actually makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Here we have Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Lodi, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Good to know. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Yes, it could. So here we can buy a few goodies. So we can buy seeds, we can buy some rice, oil, things to cook, some flooring or wallpaper, uh, trees that we can plant, some fruit trees, and yeah. So we're gonna be coming here very, very often. I think right now I could actually get a few seeds. I'm gonna get, hmm, a few more parsnips. I guess it's the cheapest seeds we can get, and over time I'll, I'll get some other some of these other ones, because I want to have a little bit of everything, but right now, I think parsnips is a good thing to get started with. So, parsnips it is! Uh, going over... Actually, let's stay over here. We have this house here, and if we go inside, we have your George, which is this grumpy old guy over here. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Okay, George, okay. Uh, up here we have Alex, yes we do. 
My boo! <laughs> I will come back for you! That's who I'm gonna pursue in the series. You guys voted and you want Alex, so it's gonna be Alex. Granny Evelyn! I love her, she's my favorite. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Yes, I will call you Granny. You are so adorable. Over here we have Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I see. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thank you, Vincent. Thank you. <laughs> You're such a kind soul. They live over here in the south. Uh, we can actually go for the trash cans and maybe we'll find something cool. Oh, <gasps> we got some bread. Awesome. Uh, this is Emily's and Haley's house. Oh, I can read it in your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by Saloon. That's where I work. Great, Emily. Uh, is your sister home? I don't think so. I guess I'll try to find her. Uh, but going over here, we have your little graveyard, which I actually find really sweet. It's not a very... What's the word? I don't know, usually graveyards, especially here at where I live, people waste so much money on them to make them look beautiful and you need to go ahead and give them flowers every week. Uh, you need to clean the camp and make sure that everything is perfect so that you can brag about it. Yes, people brag about that. So to see a very simple graveyard, it's actually very nice. I like this. Oh, and here we have someone. Hello, Elliot. Uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting knows arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot, I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. So we'll go to the beach tomorrow, guys. But yeah, it's down there. Uh, over here, this is Mayor Lewis's house. So it lives over here, kind of quite nice. I like it. Uh, going up, oh, we have Mardo over here. Hello. Hello, girl. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Nice. Uh, let's see if we can find anyone else. Uh, oh, Penny. Hello, Penny. Hi. She's a little bit shy, but, but she's adorable. Uh, I think... Is her mom over here? She's probably at, already at Saloon. But Alex went outside the house. <gasps> Alex. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. We're going to get along beautifully, Alex. You better bet on it. Uh, let's see if I can find anyone else. Uh, oh, Abigail! Yes! Another pale one! <laughs> oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I, was, I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. You can still come. We'll have a great time. We'll explore fields together. We'll clean things out together. I don't have to do things alone. It's gonna be great, Abigail. <laughs> come on over sometime, okay? Uh, this here is Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Okay, Sam, that's all you have to say to me. Pam, what are they going, Pam? Pam, Pam. <laughs> hey, kid, name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay, Pam, that's great to hear. Nice. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm missing a lot of people, really. But <laughs> if we go over to this side, we have more things to explore. We actually have here a little library. So let's go in. And here we have Gunter. I, it doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Uh, th that's a little bit weird for you to cite someone you just met, but... Nice to meet you too, Gunter. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, and we'll get along great, okay? <laughs> but we do have a few books here. Ooh, this is a book by Barney. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors and dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. That's good to know. Tips on farming. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload or hasted crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around the new sapling clear or else it may not grow properly. Crops will die as soon as season ends unless they grow in multiple seasons. Uh, some crops such as kale and wheat need to be harvested with synth and th 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 those are tips, okay. On foraging, the local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps or stones from those areas so the wild produce has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know the secret to cultivating wild food so that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? It is pretty amazing. So th this is the place, this is the library. 
This here is a museum and it's completely empty and it's gonna be up to us to actually fill this up. I'm really excited. There's something that I usually do when I fill up this area, which is make a full on rainbow. So I'm gonna have so much fun here. <laughs> I'm gonna make a rainbow. It's gonna be the most beautiful exposition you've ever seen. Up here we have the blacksmith, which is currently closed because Clint doesn't work that much. <laughs> He's quite lazy. He needs to spy on Emily. It's okay, I I'm gonna sp be spying on Alex too, so... Twinsies! <laughs> Up here we have Joja Mart! Life's better with Joja, that's a lie. Uh, we're not gonna come here anytime soon. Probably never. So, take it all in. This is the last time. Uh, but this is just like Pierre, we can buy things, but things here are more expensive. Unless we get the, the, the thing over here with Morris. This creepy guy with a huge grin. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> Welcome Jojo Mart, how are you doing today? I don't believe we've met, I'm more the Jojo customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to help make your decision a joyous experience. Who told you I want to be a member? Mortis, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's so creepy. Okay, I'm out. Uh, we still haven't explored the upper part of the town. Uh, but maybe I can take you guys there right now. Maybe you can find Linus. He's such a sweetheart. Uh, let me go and take you. I chose to take the longest path. So if we go up here, we have uh, Robin's house. It's this one over here. It's probably closed. Oh, it's opened! <gasps> Demetrius! Can I talk to you? Hello. Hi. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Okay. And down here we have someone else that we can meet, but... Oh, he's not here! What is he? <laughs> what is Sebastian? Wait, I must find him. <laughs> is he smoking? He is smoking, okay, fantastic. So we can meet him. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? That's the only choice I get, Sebastian. <laughs> That's the only choice the game gave me, so th don't even. And oh, over here we have the mines, which are closed right now. Yep, we need to wait. But down here, over at this tent that you see up top, we actually have Linus place. And Linus is such a nice guy, guys. <laughs> a stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just sleep out here alone. Aww. It's okay, Linus. We're gonna become good friends. Actually, I don't know if you like any things that I have, so I'm not even gonna bother, but I'll give you some gifts over time. Oh, and some worms. Oh, we got something! Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. We'll do! Okay, let's go back to the farm. This is a quick way that we can go home if we're up here on the top part of the town. So let's go down, and hopefully there's not a huge- there is a mess. God dang it. Away! <laughs> I didn't bring my... any of my tools. <laughs> this is a nightmare, okay. I think I, I did it. I did it, guys. Wow. Uh, I kind of wanted to plant these, but I don't know if I have time. Mmm. Mmm. I, I might try to, at least. I'll try. Okay, I'll just plant a few more. Not too much. Sure, I'll plant these for now. I'll plant the rest tomorrow. Where the heck can I walk through? <laughs> it's so dark. Uh, let me go inside the house and I'm gonna put some things away. I liked fiber, uh, the bread, it's gonna come in handy. These little things that I got, I'm gonna get the watering can and I'm gonna plant those. My energy is going pretty low. But I think I can still do this. Oh gosh, it's so dark. So, let's just do this to finish our day. Gonna fill up the watering can. Gonna water these. And I'm all done. Let's go to sleep, guys. So I'm gonna end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, until the next part of Let's Play Stardew Valley. Goodbye, everybody.